everyone. Welcome to this NASCOM special. I'm Bikram Chandra, the founder of Heritage, and I have with me Mr. R.K. Mishra, co-founder of Yulu. Yulu, of course, is an Indian mobility platform that enables integrated urban mobility using micro-mobility vehicles. These uh, dockless electrical vehicles can be rented through a mobile app. R.K., welcome uh, to this conversation. Great to be talking to you. Um, 2022, how, how was that as a year for mobility as a service, which I guess is, uh, you know, one of the ways in which we can tag what you're offering. So I think uh, 2022 was uh, challenging, uh, but then problems started from 2020 uh, when, the, you know, things were looking so good and uh, COVID came in. And initially we were focused only on people mobility, uh, where we are looking for the first and last mile connectivity from public transport hubs like metro stations, which you see. In Delhi, we are there almost at every metro station in Bangalore too. But then suddenly COVID came and uh, it really impacted us a lot. Uh, but that gave us another opportunity to look at the people who have been laid off, uh, people from the restaurants and things like, uh, you know, whatever uh, profession they were in, which were not able to operate. And then delivery uh, economy came up, which we in general call it gig economy. And most of these people did not have their own vehicles. Even if they had their own vehicles, the cost of running were very high. And that's where uh, companies like Yulu saw an opportunity and we became almost a lifeline during the COVID. In fact, Bangalore, there was a time when Yulu was the only uh, mobility option available because when buses and uh, metros were shut. So we became the lifeline of the city during the COVID, uh, making sure that things are delivered. But that also gave us an opportunity to look at the aspects of uh, not only the goods mobil people mobility, but also the short mile delivery. So we yeah. connect first and last mile in people mobility and short mile delivery for the goods mobility. Just, just looking at uh, what some of the challenges for that are, and I know you're working on setting up a network of battery charging and swapping stations. Is that EV infrastructure already in place or do you think it's going to be all in place in a year or two? So it is like companies like uh, Yulu, which are into the fleet management, fleet mobility, which are the ones which need the charging infrastructure at a mass scale. And given that this infrastructure is not available, we are creating our own. For example, in Bangalore, we have around 200 charging stations. Now, this is almost the most dense and largest, uh, you know, swapping infrastructure available anywhere in the country. And we are doing it same in Delhi and eventually in Delhi, Mumbai and Bangalore, all three. All right. Last question. What do you have in mind for 2023? Is this going to be the defining year for EVs in India or one of the defining years? What are your major expectations this year? I think uh, 2022, there were a lot of challenges, both in terms of the perception and in terms of the availability of the quality vehicles. Both have been addressed. Now, at least in four-wheeler, there are five or six very, very good cars are available. Two-wheeler, I think a lot of people were doing little shortcuts. Uh, they were getting bikes from uh, somewhere and stamping them as Indian and getting fame subsidy. I think government has clamped down on them. So whatever initial problems of any industry happen, have been taken care of. So I believe 2023 will be a defining year from the viewpoint that from here, EV will be establish itself as reliable and affordable mode of commute. And this is something which I think is very important for a common man to go and choose not to buy a IC engine, but an electric engine. From Yulu point of view, we are going almost 10 times from 10,000 vehicles which we had last year. We are going 100,000 this year. And we essentially will focus right now in three cities, Mumbai, Delhi, and Bangalore. And you will see almost every corner of your city, you will see you lose there. So this is what my um, prediction for 2023 is. And I hope many more players uh, will uh, come and grow. All right. Uh, Mr. Mishra, thank you so much for joining us. 10,000 to 100,000 this year. Those are aggressive growth numbers. We are already 25,000, Vikram, from uh, beginning of uh, December till now. So I think we should be able to make it. Well, that, that's certainly going to be quite a dramatic change. And that's certainly help. We hope that by next winter, uh, air will be a lot more breathable as we move more and more away to cleaner technology. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much.